What's up sports fans? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel and in this video today I'm going to give you 12 teams that can win it all in 2023 slash 2024 a national championship as well as um, slash win it all slash um, national championship in 2023. We're going to give you 12 teams in this list and we're going to give you a percentage of what chance they have have a chance to win that national championship this upcoming 2023-24 college football season. Uh, I think there were definitely a lot of teams that can definitely win a national championship, but only 12 of them. Uh, we gave you 16 teams that could probably reach the college football playoff. Uh, we gave you that video maybe a couple weeks ago or maybe just last week. You can go back and watch that video and which teams I picked to maybe reach the college football playoff in 2023. But now we're going to give you the teams that have a chance to win a national championship in 2023. And we're going to, you know, give you the top 12 teams that I think have a chance to do that. And like I said, we'll give you a percentage on what that chance will be for them to win the national championship. And you'll start to see those percentages go higher a little bit uh, for these 12 teams as well as we head down the list. So let's get right into it here with 12 teams that I think can win it all in 2023. Also a national championship in 2023 college football season. We'll start with number 12. We're going to start with Texas here. Uh, Texas coming off an 8-5 and five season last year. I think they have a 1% chance to win the national championship this year. Uh, the reason why is that they got talent on both sides of the ball. They do have talented players, but there's just a lot of hype for this Texas team. Uh, Quinn Ewers looked really good in the spring game. I watched the spring game the other day uh, this past weekend, and I got to tell you, I think Quinn Ewers is definitely the starting quarterback as of right now for this Texas team. Arch Manning looked pretty decent, but Quinn Ewers definitely looked like their starting quarterback in that game. And I think Texas, with that being said, they are a um, contender for the national championship in 2023. I know they're just coming off an 8-5 and five season last year, but this Texas team is looking really good. Uh, they're looking talented on both sides of the ball as well, but especially on that offensive side of the ball. If Quinn Ewers can stay consistent, if he stays healthy, Texas could be a very dangerous team this year in the Big 12. And the thing about this list here and this top 12 um, countdown Texas is the only Big 12 team on this list, so I don't really have any Big 12 team that really can match up with Texas. Maybe Oklahoma can match up. Kansas State probably could match up as well. But Texas, I think, has the best percentage to go out of the, back, out of the, out of the Big 12 to go to the national championship and probably win. But as of right now, their percentage only comes out to be 1%. I think there are other teams out there that are more talented than Texas, but they end up here at number 12 here that I think they can win it all in 2023. Moving on to number 11, Washington. I think Washington also has a 1% chance to, get, um, to win the national championship in 2023. This is a team that's coming off an 11-2 record last year, but the reason why I think they can win it is because the experience they have coming back on both sides of the ball, especially on the offensive side of the ball. I think they're going to be really good on that side of the ball. Defense, they'll be really fine there. I'm not too concerned about any sides of the ball here for these for this Washington team. Uh, they do have experience, and I think with that from last year's season, I think they're definitely in contention to win a national championship this year, but they only have about a 1% chance to do that in my percentage. I think, you know, with the Pac-12 schedule, it's really going to be hard to, you know, go through the Pac-12 schedule. And it will be a different, it will be a difficult um, journey for Washington, but I think they have a really good opportunity to win a national championship in 2023. They're not the only Pac-12 team on this top 12 list, but they're definitely one of those contenders for the national championship in 2023, and they're definitely one of my college football playoff contenders as well heading into 2023. So Washington comes in here at number 11, a 1% chance to win the national championship, in my opinion. Number 10 is going to be Tennessee. Tennessee, I think, with a 5% chance to go to the national championship and also win it all. Uh, yeah, you can see the percentages are starting to get a little bit higher for some of these teams. Tennessee, though, I think only has about a 5% chance to go to the national championship and also win it all. But the reason why they're only at 5% is just because they have to go through the SEC. They got Florida, Georgia on there, Alabama on there on the schedule. And obviously, you know, the schedule is tough for Tennessee. But the thing about this Tennessee team is that they do have the talent on the offensive side of the ball. It's just going to come down to that defense for them. And I did watch the spring game the other day for Tennessee. It wasn't really solid, to be honest. But, uh, you know, definitely some of those backup quarterbacks look really good behind Joe Milton. 
Uh, you got, you know, pretty much, you know, you got more a transfer from UCF that played pretty well in that game. But other than that, Tennessee, I think, has a 5% chance to go to the national championship and also win it all. But Tennessee, I think, is definitely one of those contenders this upcoming season uh, for 2023. They're number 10 on my list to win the national championship. Number nine is going to be Florida State. Florida State, I think, has a 5% chance to go to the national championship. This team has a lot of hype coming in. Of course, you know, with all the production they have coming in the, in this season, they definitely have Jordan Travis at quarterback. That's definitely a Heisman contender. And there's no question about it. This Florida State team is talented on both sides of the ball. It's just the experience they have, and they definitely have what it takes to win a national championship. It'll be the first time in, like, 11 years, I think, since Florida State's won a national championship. I think the last time they did it was 2013 or maybe 2014. It's been a lot of years to come, but, you know, Florida State's, you know, been there in the past. They've been to the college football playoff once, but it's just been a long time. Can the Seminoles do it? Can they Can they do it? But in my percentage, they only have about a 5% chance to win the national championship because, let's be honest, there's a lot of other talented teams out there in the country. So Florida State, though, they definitely have done a pretty good job in the transfer portal as well, and that's why they are on this list here for 2023. They're number nine here on this list. Number eight is going to be Notre Dame. I think Notre Dame has about a 10% chance to win the national championship. Team that's coming off a 9-4 record last year, but you know with the experience of Sam Hartman coming in, they definitely have a chance to win the national championship. I mean, we know this Notre Dame team has had an up and down in the college football playoff over the years. They lose, usually lose in the semifinal, but I think this is a definitely different Notre Dame team. Um, besides Brian Kelly, you know, ever since he w he's been gone, I think this Notre Dame team can get better as a program. And, you know, with Sam Hartman coming in, it's definitely going to help them out. So Notre Dame has a lot of hype coming into this year, and I think they're definitely one of those contenders that can win it for the national championship and also can win it all. I don't really see them going undefeated, but maybe they win it with one loss in there as well. So Notre Dame... Their percentage for me is about 10% to win the national championship. They're number eight here on this countdown. Number seven is going to be LSU. LSU, I think, with a 20% chance to win the national championship in 2023. Team that's coming off a 10 and 4 record last year. That should be 10 and 4, but they went 10 and 3, um, you know, before going into um, bowl season. But this is a team that definitely surprised me a lot. They should be 10 and 4 on this countdown. Their record was not 10 and 3, but this is a team that definitely surprised me last year with how they really finished the season. This team, you know, kept getting better down the stretch ever since that Tennessee loss, and they really just proved us wrong. And Brian Kelly is the coach that has what it takes to lead this LSU team to a national championship in 2023. But in my percentage, they only have about a 20% chance to go to the national championship and also win it. But I think LSU... I mean, they've done it in the past with Joe Burrow in 2019. That's when they went undefeated that year, but that's a different story. Uh, this is a different LSU team. You got Jaden Daniels at quarterback that can definitely run the table for this LSU team. He can also run the football. So you got plenty of talent on both sides of the ball for this LSU team, and especially on that defensive side of the ball. If the defense can pick it up, this is going to be a really good LSU team. So they're number seven here on this list, a 20% chance to win the national championship in 2023. Moving on to number six is Clemson. Clemson, I think, with a 20% chance to win the national championship as well in 2023. Team that's coming off an 11-3 record last year, but you got to put them on this list every single year, it seems like, because Clemson is one of the top teams in the ACC, it seems like, every single year. They have not They have had a you know tough couple years, but they're definitely still one of those top contenders in the ACC for the running of the national championship. I think this will be a better season for Clemson, but... Maybe not. You know, I'm too. Con I'm really concerned about the offense for Clemson. I'm not really too concerned about the defense. They do have a lot of talent on both sides, on that defensive side of the ball. But they do have a really good running backs coming in. So I think, you know, Clemson will be fine at running the football. But I think, you know, their offense, the passing game is going to be a big concern for this Clemson team. If Caleb Klubnick can stay consistent, He's definitely going to be one of the top quarterbacks in the ACC next year, uh, besides Drake May, perhaps at, from North Carolina. I think this Clemson team has what it takes to run the table in the ACC. I think they're definitely one of those top contenders for the national championship. So Clemson, 20% chance to win the national championship in 2023. 
Uh, let's go out and go to the top five. And when we get to the top five here, these are the best teams that I think have the best shot to go to the national championship and also win it all. So let's go down to number five, and that's Alabama. Alabama with a 35% chance to go to the national championship and also win it all. Um, Alabama just coming off an 11-2 record from last year. They do lose plenty of talent from last year's team, but this team is still going to have talent on both sides of the ball. No matter what the production they lost from last year, this team is still going to be really talented. But the question is, who's going to be the starting quarterback for this Alabama team? Who's going to be that starting quarterback? Who will be that next A.J. McCarron? Who will be that next um, Tua Tagovailoa, Mac Jones, or Bryce Young? I mean, it's going to be hard to tell of Alabama's quarterback situation, but I think this team is going to be definitely strong on both sides of the ball. They're still going to be talented well enough, you know, to win maybe 10 games on the year. Um, Alabama is definitely a national championship contender each and every single year because Nick Saban knows what, how's it, how to get it done uh, for this Alabama team. So Alabama, I think, has a 35% chance to go to the national championship and also win it all. So Alabama... Number five here on this list. Number four is going to be USC. Uh, USC, I think, has a 35% chance also to go to the national championship and also win it all. Um, you know, you're starting to see these percentages get a little bit higher for some of these teams. You saw it from 20, now to 35 with Alabama, and now USC. Uh, USC, I'm not too concerned about the offense for them. Uh, defensively, if they can get that defense going, they're definitely going to be a dangerous team. Uh, you got Caleb Williams coming back at quarterback. And I did watch the spring game for USC the other day. Caleb Williams did not play that well, so I didn't really see much from him. But I definitely think from where he was from last year, he's definitely going to be a lot better. Again, once again, he's a defending Heisman Trophy winner. So USC, I think, has a really good chance to win the national championship. They're probably one of the best, you know, in the Pac-12 to win it all, you know, heading into 2023. There are other teams out there, like, you know, Oregon, for example. They're not on this list. We got Washington that we just mentioned a few moments ago. But there are definitely other teams out there in the Pac-12 that they, that can win it all in 2023. But I think USC is definitely the team that has the best chance in the Pac-12 to win it all in 2023. They're at 35% and they're at number four here on this list. And number three is going to be Ohio State. So now we're in the Big Ten. I think they have a 40% chance to win the national championship in 2023. I'm not too concerned about the you know defense for Ohio State. I'm just concerned about the offense for this team. Uh, you know, C.J. Stroud is gone, but they do have plenty of weapons at wide receiver. This team is loaded at wide receiver. They do have one of the most talented wide receiver duos in the country, perhaps, and possibly in the Big Ten. Uh, the Buckeyes have now lost the Big Ten East now the last couple years. It's been about Michigan and not about Ohio State. I think this Ohio State team is ready for redemption. They are definitely in a redemption year, and it was a really tough season, but they did go to the college football playoff last year, and also they were close to going to the national championship. And I think that's the reason why they end up here at number three on this list. And they went 11-2 and two last year, so I'm not too concerned about Ohio State. I'm not too concerned about the wide receiver position, the defense. But I'm, I'm kind of concerned about the offensive line for Ohio State. So Ohio State here ends up at number three. I think they have a 40% chance to win the national championship in 2023. We stay in the Big Ten here. Number two is going to be Michigan. Michigan with a 45% chance, I believe, to win the national championship in 2023. This team came so close to winning it all last year, but this team really choked in the semifinal against a TCU team. But Michigan does have the talent on both sides of the ball. They got J.J. McCarthy coming back, Blake Corum coming back. So you got your running back back from last year. You got your quarterback coming back from last year. And they do have, you know, they have plenty of weapons on the defensive side of the ball. Michigan is definitely loaded on that side of the ball, and especially on the offense. I watched the spring game a couple weeks ago, and it was pretty solid from both sides of the ball. The defense looked really good, to be honest, but... You know, the offense kind of looks sluggish, but I think their offense will be really well talented enough to, you know, have a really good season this year. And also, I think with that, they have a 45% chance to win the national championship in 2023. Whoever they will play, though, it will be a tough game, but I think Michigan is definitely the top 10, you know, the top team in the Big Ten East right now, and obviously all in the Big Ten Conference. So Michigan, 45% chance to go to the national championship and also win it all. But the number one team, I think, has the best chance and also the favorites to win the national championship this year is definitely Georgia. Georgia is the best team that has the best shot to win the national championship. And not just that, 
They've won back-to-back national championships in the last couple years. They're looking for a three-peat. And with that being said, they have a 50% chance to go to the national championship and also win it all in 2023. And they also have a chance to go undefeated, in my opinion. They did that last year going 15-0. And this is the team that I think has the best chance to win it all in 2023. Georgia is talented on both sides of the ball. I watched their spring game this past weekend. Uh, both, all quarterbacks look pretty good. The running game looks strong. The defense looks strong. They got talent on both sides of the ball, and it's really going to be hard to stop Georgia this season. And I think Georgia is definitely the team to beat in 2023 in the SEC Conference. And like I said, Georgia's toughest game in the regular season will be against Tennessee on the road. I think they're really well talented enough to, you know, really go in on the road and beat that Tennessee team by a blowout. But I don't think it will be a blowout. I think Georgia, though, is still going to really survive that game perhaps. But you never know. They could probably lose it. But Georgia is definitely the dominant team right now. And I think they have what it takes to win a three-peat this season in 2023. But those are my top 12 teams. I think have a chance to win it all in 2023 and also slash win a national championship in 2023. Let me guys know what you think about these teams and what do you who else um, do you think um, should belong on this list? Who? What other team do you think um, has a chance to win the national championship in 2023? And stay tuned here for more sports content on the Lucas Ross Sports Channel.